How's it going everybody? You're Ryan here, back again bringing you some more NHL 14 information. This time, it is what to expect from EASHL or EA Sports Hockey League, also known as club, whatever you prefer to call it, that's what we're going with. So, I wrote down a couple things here on what we can be expecting or hoping for in the upcoming NHL 14 club. So, first things first. It's definitely going to be sixes oriented. Uh, so was that NHL 13, but I still found myself playing a lot of twos. But me and Matt are definitely going to be playing sixes in NHL 14. We're going to try our best to get a nice club together and really play a lot of EASHL. So I don't, it just feels like each year they move more towards forcing people to play sixes. And I, I don't think anything is going to change this year. Next off... If you guys haven't noticed yet, it's going to become... Look at that save right there, by the way. Um, it's going to become more like FIFA seasons. So, instead of just having an amateur pro elite, there's going to be, like, Division 10 to 1. It might not be exactly like it, but I'm FIFA goes Division 10 to 1, and then you play, like, 10 games, and whatever your record is in that, like, you can rank up and stuff. I'm not too familiar with the FIFA seasons thing. I have been playing it more, so I know a bit about it, but not enough to give you, like, full in-depth... But it, it's going to be more like FIFA season, so if you guys know what that means, that's it's definitely a better system, I think. Next up, unlocks. Uh, we, I'm not sure. Like If they go the route of FIFA, then we could be seeing unlocks, because that's what they seem to be doing. And uh, there probably won't be, because we would have saw like gameplay of some guy with like a helmet off or something. But we didn't, and uh, for sure there's going to be more customization, though. Because, like, each year, you know, the more the graphics are better. Especially when we get onto the Xbox One. They're, they should already be working on the NHL 15 customization because that should be pretty crazy. Finally, well, not finally, but next up, smoother play. This is for all game modes, but especially EASHL. I found myself being really slow on turns and stuff. And uh, this leads me into the next point, too. But. I don't know, like, turning and stuff, Found I felt like it was much harder in ESHL than any other game mode, because, like, even in Versus and stuff, the guys had decent stats, but what, especially when you're starting out, it's so hard to, like, grind out those first, like, couple hundred games or whatever. You gotta get those done and just get your stats better. So, the next thing is, I'm going to be wondering if there is max attributes again. Like, when the game came out, I was really not a fan of how you can max out an attribute you can't get that higher so say you want 99 speed you can't get 99 speed on any player and uh i i don't like that idea personally like it wasn't too bad uh when the game first came out like i said i was really not a fan of it but i kind of got used to it i'm quite sure they'll be bringing that back but not 100 percent. if they don't bring it back that'd be pretty interesting we'd see yeah, a lot more speed and stuff but you can almost get to 99 speed anyways it's not much of a difference but I still feel like you should be able to put up what you want to put up when you want to put it up next up uh, this doesn't really have to do exactly what the ESHL but I was thinking like wouldn't it be a cool game mode for probably not even NHL 15 they, this would take a while maybe NHL 16 a first person player view so you know how you have ice you have like custom 2 and custom 3 uh, just a first person one and that'd be I think that'd be really cool so like when you get hit your guy like spins goes black for a second gets back up like just stuff like that so like you'd see everything first person like it's i'm sure no one would play on it except oh my god hiccups again during a video except for maybe like a be a pro series but i think it'd be a really cool thing it, it might not be used too often but i'm sure the people that use it would love it and it's really a selling feature in that game if you get a first person thing I think that'd be pretty cool. I would definitely try it out. I'm not. I'm almost 100% sure I wouldn't use it in, like, club and stuff. But, like, um, you know, be a pro and stuff, that would be such an insane feature. I'm quite sure it's not going to happen. That would take a very long time. But I still think it'd be something pretty cool they could add. And finally, as we're talking about ESHL, definitely when it comes around, come check out our player builds. We're going to have a lot of those up. Matt is really good at actually making player builds. Uh, I'm just getting used to them now. But uh, I'll, I'll put some out there. My guy's usually like the playmaker. His is like the fast sniper. Actually, I think he uses grinder in this. But it's, I don't know. He's really good at them. I'll start trying to make some. And uh, you're, we're going to have a bunch here. So like the plan is we can have it 
like a certain player. So like we'll have like a Pavel Datsuk player build. So you can use it. So we're gonna try and get as many games in as possible. We're gonna try and get to Legend three as soon as possible, or at least a Legend. You know, it doesn't have to. We're not gonna play two hundred and fifty games the first three days, but we're gonna try and get at least to like a Legend probably, and we can have them for different ranks and stuff. But then we'll base them off players like a. I can't think of anyone like a Spezza player build. You could have a Datsu where it's like dangling and just all those different types of things. And I think that's pretty, uh, pretty cool idea. And uh, we'll be your number one source for player builds, you know. And oh, just after the whistle, there Kane scores. But nevertheless, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, as always, please leave a like down below, and we'll see you next time. Unfazed when they say there will always be a day when you throw away the young mind hiding in your brain. But me, I honestly beg to differ. I'm the young and running wild over rocks in the river. Simmer down, order in the court. My vision's God given, man, minority report.